For the past few months, students in the Alpha program have been working on a project called the LEGO Mindstorm Design Challenge. Their purpose is to create and build robots from scratch by brainstorming and collaborating with each other in small groups. Throughout the hours of research, writing, coding, and constructing, the elementary kiddos have been receiving guidance from McKinney Boyd High School students in a unique mentoring partnership. What is this doing in the robot? And if we can't do that, then we might have to try something else and see what else will work. Tell me what you guys think plagiarism is. This is what I have proof that this could work, right, by having this research to use. So it's up to you to teach your group. Yes. From what I learned from you. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. The elementary students benefit because they look up to the high school students. Um, they get to hear from somebody other than just the parents and the teachers all the time. Um, and they, they kind of talk the same language a lot of times. These pieces can be in the middle and then it would not fit. They actually taught us how to act and how to make slides and stuff and how to, um, uh, <laughs> what to do and how to do things with our uh, topic. First, search up a general topic. Yeah. So, what do you want to learn about? Let's do lizards. Yeah, these videos can be kind of iffy. You want to go to actual. Really needing a lizard. They understand us more than grown ups. <laughs> I'll say that because they're <laughs> younger. For the high school students, it solidifies a little bit of the concepts that we're trying to teach them because now they're having to teach it themselves. A lot of our high school students have to work in teams and they get frustrated working in teams because somebody always does all the work and somebody doesn't. And now they're having to be that mentor and the facilitator. They have to find a way to bring out those that are not involved and get the other ones that want to take over to sit back and listen a little bit more. So they, it's been a benefit to them too. Make sure that you explain your idea clearly to all of your teammates so that they understand what your solution might be. When you're studying a subject, if it's like science or engineering or writing or argument, they're all interrelated and it's not just chunked into different sections of academics. They're all linked together under kind of like teamwork and interpersonal skills. And that's kind of the overarching thing that spans everything is working together and taking multiple disciplines and synthesizing them into a product. Also, we're just really trying to get them interested in the whole STEM process and the whole project itself. However, science, technology, engineering, and math were not the only disciplines presented. Humanity students coached the young minds on a crucial aspect of the challenge. The humanity side has come in to talk about the research and the presentation communicating those skills and then we are tying in for humanities the technology side so now it's not creative writing but it is technical writing it's being able to present the facts being able to research the facts and being able to support your argument on the design and the problem solving that they've decided to do right after a thesis statement that you have something what was that <laughs> the argument, evidence. The evidence. Oh, yeah, the project concluded with a robotics competition where the groups were judged in four categories. Teaming, research, technical interview, and robotic missions. Look at it! It was the one program! Programming was kind of a challenge because sometimes um, they would have errors and then we couldn't have get, get things done. It's been a, a great collaboration with all the teachers, both elementary and high school. That everybody's been outstanding and doing their part and, and reaching out and bringing the program a lot farther along. Our kids were actually really sad when we asked them to disassemble their robots. They actually held a mini memorial for their robot that they dearly named Bentley. We are planning to continue to do this um, every fall with tying in their curriculum to a robotics, robotics challenge. So next year, more high school students will get a chance to pass along not only their knowledge about research and robotics, but perhaps more importantly about how to work as a team. I want them to understand that if you're trying to be a leader of a team, it's important to use kindness instead of force in order to get everyone to work together toward a common goal.